we looked at readings. We read things together, we read poetry together, and we talked a lot about the essential things that we found. We were on the beginnings of environmental awareness the way we saw it, and we formed the New Haven Ecology Project with the premise that we would attempt to bring more environmental education into schools in New Haven. As time went on and when the state of Connecticut offered the charter proposal, we all looked at each other and said, well, for years we've been telling people, we've been doing education and telling people this is what we wanted. I guess if we don't write a proposal, then we are, we've been bluffing. So we wrote a proposal and uh, that was the beginning. This is, this is a, my prized collection of poetry that, that as um, it really contains a lot of, for me, the history, the early history. And into the process of building a school, uh, Joni Gillette put this together. Will you teach your children what we have taught our children? That the earth is our mother. What befalls the earth befalls all the sons and daughters of the earth. This we know. The earth does not belong to mankind. Mankind belongs to the earth. All things are connected like the blood that unites us all. Mankind did not weave the web of life but is merely a strand in it. Whatever is done to the web by us, we are doing to ourselves. Coming out of that, we had our three famous principles of all things are connected, there is no way, and everything has a cost. We had very short time frames to recruit students, to build that first curriculum, and to figure out where we were gonna be. So we actually started at Southern Connecticut. We were fortunate to have a couple of classrooms loaned to us so that we could have a meeting space. And we walked here from Southern to start what was for students, I think, an astonishing task. We said to them, we're gonna build a school. And we handed them shovels and talked about the ways we shape the world around us. But in, in those early days, that was the kind of feeling of, we can't do things unless we have the school with us. And that meant that we couldn't operate not just with faculty consensus, but we had to have students working with us. And so we, we began to understand ourselves as really the process we went through, lots and lots and lots of faculty talk, was always in the midst of that larger community. And we, we sort of felt students are gonna learn in the midst of a community of adults who are in dialogue about common needs. And I don't, you know, it's a little bit crunchy granola, organic-y, but in fact it's true that many, many people have discovered that, in, that we really want to be more connected to the food we eat, where it's grown, the life we live, and trying to keep in balance all of those important things along with learning what really matters. And what matters, I think, takes being involved in this kind of education.